Maybe instead of starting a business, maybe we buy a business. I'm going to tell you today why there is a massive opportunity for you to buy a business instead of starting one. You see, right now, over half of all the business owners are over the age of 50. 33 million, do- 33 million businesses in the United States, over 16 million. Business owners right now have no contingency plan. They have no idea what they want to do when they want to get out of their business. They want to get out. They're done. They're maybe a little burnt out, and they're looking for a transition. A lot of people think the common mistake, well, most of them have kids that want to take over. That is not true. Most business owners' kids do not take over their businesses. Most of them have employees that want to take over. Not true. A lot of employees see the stress that the owner has, and they don't want any part of it. That's why they're an employee. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how you can actually buy a business, even if you have no money. Hey, Nate, I have no money. I don't have hundreds and thousands of dollars laying around to buy a business. I completely agree. Today I'm going to tell you how you can start a business, or how you can buy a business with no money. Also, if you want a more in-depth version of this video, I have written a free ebook. And um, one of these chapters in this book is called Heir to the Throne. I break down how you can buy a business, how you evaluate a business, how you make sure you don't overpay, how do you even find them, how do you source them. Free ebook, free. All you have to do is put in your email. There's a link in the description below. Also on my channel page, you can click on my link and you can go find it there. Absolutely free. I uh, spent a lot of time on this, so I'd be happy to help you out. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit like and subscribe. I talk about business, buying businesses, and starting businesses. Okay? So, this is a huge opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. You don't need money to do it. What you need to do is you need to locally find a business for sale. So, how do you do that locally? How do you find a business and how do you buy it with no money? Well, first off, you buy the business with no money using owner financing. This means that the owner is going to finance your payment on the business. What that usually looks like is, hey, over the next 10 years, you're going to continue to pay the business owner a monthly payment or salary, maybe you leave them on salary, for a number of years up to an agreed upon price in an agreed upon term. So maybe we're going to pay him $2 million for his business over the span of 10 years. Maybe we're going to add on a 2% interest rate or maybe a minimal interest rate. But what we're going to do is we're going to agree on paying him and saying to pay in a bank. This means that he's somewhat held accountable to make sure that your business continues to flourish because if not, if you go under, then Um, potentially the deal's gone because you could go bankrupt. So he wants to make sure that his golden goose is continuing to lay, or his goose is continuing to lay golden eggs, okay? So this is why owner finance is a massive opportunity. So how do we find these businesses for sale? You know, we know we need to buy a business. We know this is a massive opportunity, but where do we find them? Well, we find them locally, okay? You need to buy a business locally. You do not need to buy a business clear across the country, wherever you're at. You need to find one locally. So what the best way to do that, number one, hands down, nobody's going to do it. You're going to watch this video and you're not going to do it. The people that will do it will end up buying a business with no money, but you won't do it because you won't go cold visit. You don't have the mindset that you're not going to quit, that you're going to go find it at all costs, your life is a movie, you're going to figure out how you're going to be successful, how you're going to be rich, how you're going to have all that freedom that I don't have to ask people for time off, I make way more money than I would as an employee, I have the freedom that someday I'm going to be able to sell my business for millions and millions of dollars, set up my family, all these things that you want as an entrepreneur, the reason that you probably clicked on this video, you're not motivated enough to put yourself out there and expose yourself to potentially some somebody saying no to you, so you won't cold visit. But cold visits work, cold calling works, cold visiting works. You go meet with somebody, shake their hand, say, nice to meet you, sir, my name's Nate Jones, I am a local resident of this town, and I'm looking to buy a business. Are you ever interested in selling? Would you be open to even having a conversation about selling your business? You ask 50 people that in your local community, you will find multiple people looking to sell their business. At that point, you will have conversations with them. Meet with owners, meet with people who are not interested in selling. Okay, great, can we still meet? Uh, Maybe you might know somebody who's looking at potentially selling a business down the road. They connect you with somebody. Once they connect you with somebody who's potentially selling your business, everyone's a connection away. You don't realize that you're a connection away from your next business idea, from your next business um, buying a business. You're one connection away. So you go connect with these business owners, you will find somebody 
who is looking to sell. Connect with local chamber of commerce. Just connect with everybody you possibly can so the word is out there that you are looking to buy a business and a guy who you do not know that you didn't even know existed. So we'll somehow hear your message. When you put it out in the universe, the universe will pair that with somebody who's looking to do what you're looking to do which is buy a business and they're looking to sell a business, okay? So what they're doing is they're saying, okay, oh my gosh, yes, uh, can you give me his phone number? You get that random call. Hey, I look. I heard you're looking at buying a business. I'm looking to retire in the next five, you know, two to three years. Let's meet. Okay, then you're having that conversation. Through that conversation, what you're doing is you're saying, hey, look, I wanna take over a business. I wanna do this. Um, you know, what does it look like if you were to sell? Are you looking to stay on? Here's what I'm looking at. I can't offer you 100% cash. I don't want to get a loan on this. If you want to do this and you really want me to care about your business, leave your legacy, which is huge for these guys. You need to provide owner financing. And when you have a conversation with these people and it's not on websites where you're finding businesses for sale, this is only found. Owner financing is only found when you have boots on the ground and where you're at. When you meet with these business owners, you have boots on the ground, they care about transitioning their business to somebody who's like them. Somebody who's like them. Let me tell you from entrepreneurs, since I am an entrepreneur, entrepreneurs don't quit, they give up, they put in effort, they show up and other people don't do that. They will respect you when you show up, shake their hand and have a meeting with them. So this is a massive opportunity. Again, if you want a specific blueprint, more in depth on how to value these businesses, how to really offer a business owner, how to go through this whole process, I've outlined it in my ebook, it's completely free. All you have to do is put your email. Also, if you want a specific conversation, you can book a call with me on the link in my channel page to where we can really evaluate a business that you're looking at buying or a business idea. My name's Nate Jones. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.